section 24. We begin this section learning about those who embrace the truth that God will absolve them even for the worst of what they did and still reward them according to the best of what they did and that they will have whatever they desire from their Lord. Then we come to an interesting verse where God says, It is God who calls back the souls of people upon their death as well as the souls of the living during their sleep. Then he keeps those for whom he has ordained death and releases the others until their appointed time. Surely in this are signs for people who reflect. We then learn of a very important concept where God teaches us that to never lose hope in the mercy of God, even after having exceeded the limits. For God is the all forgiving, most merciful. Now, many people may have the idea of hopelessness in their minds that, oh, I've done such and such bad thing. God will never forgive me. Well, that is absolutely the wrong mindset to have. Know for sure that whatever it is you have done, if you sincerely turn back to God and mend your ways, then you will find forgiveness and mercy in God. Later, God tells us that He is the creator of all things and that He is the maintainer of everything. We then come to some amazing details about what will take place on the Day of Judgment. You can almost imagine it happening. And after having imagined these scenes, if any of us is still not taking heed, then we are for sure at loss. In the next chapter, we find an interesting verse where God says, God even knows the sly glances of the eyes and whatever the hearts conceal. Then we learn of the wise words of a believing man from the people of Pharaoh. A believing man from Pharaoh's people who was hiding his faith argued, Will you kill a man only for saying, My Lord is the one and only God? While he has in fact come to you with clear proofs from your Lord. If he is a liar, it will be to his own loss. But if he is truthful, then you will be afflicted with some of what he is threatening you with. Surely God does not guide whoever is a transgressor, a total liar. Later, we are informed that the creation of the heavens and the earth is certainly greater than the recreation of humankind, but that most people do not know. Also, God teaches us that he has told us the stories of some of the messengers and some not. Then God tells us that he shows you his signs and asks which of his signs will you deny. In the next chapter we get some details about the creation of the heavens and the earth. We are also warned that the day will come when the ears, eyes and skin will testify against people about what they used to do. Later God asks a rhetorical question. And whose words are better than someone who calls others to God, does good and says, I am truly one of those who submit. He also tells us that the Quran is a mighty book and cannot be proven false from any angle. We end this section with the verse, whoever does good, it is to their own benefit. And whoever does evil, it is to their own loss. Your Lord is never unjust to his servants. And that brings us to the end of section 24.